Are you ready to finally get started on Reels? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you a tutorial on how I film my Reels. If you are just starting out on this platform or maybe you are a beginner. Plus, I'm gonna share with you some of my filming hacks when it comes to how I film my Reels. Now, this platform is actually pretty simple to use, but it takes a little bit of getting used to, especially when showing up on video, it takes some courage and confidence to begin with and some technological know-how. Obviously, as a video strategist and video marketing expert, video is my thing, but I also acknowledge that it's not everybody's and it takes a little bit more of that courage to get and show up on videos. So I'm here to break those barriers for you, get you more comfortable, build your confidence in showing up on video so that you can utilize the benefits that video marketing has to helping you build your business. So if you want to learn more content, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so that you are notified every Sunday when I post a new video on video content and how you can utilize it to build your business. This platform is actually super easy to use, but it does take a little bit of getting used to and it's actually a ton of fun. So fair warning because I know once you get started in this, you're going to have a ton of fun and you just want to keep going. But first in the comments below, I want you to drop your favorite emoji if you have more of a love hate relationship when it comes to reels because not only is producing videos takes a bit of technological know-how, but you have to be confident and comfortable of showing up on video. And that takes a little bit of courage too. So drop me an emoji in the comments if this is how you're feeling. Now, before we get started into this tutorial, if you're stuck at the content piece and don't know what you should be doing or what type of content to be putting into your reels, then I just want you to go watch this video right here because in this video, I actually break down five content ideas ideas that you can use in your reels. Now the biggest misconception when it comes to reels is people often think that they have to make a fool of themselves, that they have to show up and dance on reels when this is actually not at all the truth. Now, if you love to dance and that's how you want to show up, then by all means do it. The biggest thing that you need to know when it comes to how to show up or what to do on your reels is just be true to yourself. What you want to be doing is relating your content to your niche, your brand, and helping your ideal client avatar. If it's not showing up dancing, if it's not showing up whatever lip syncing to something, then just don't do that, but make the content for your ideal client avatar and the rest doesn't matter. Okay guys, so today I'm actually going to take you right behind the scenes and show you exactly how I film my reels and take you so you can actually watch literally step by step. I'm also going to share my screen, what it actually looks like on the Instagram app. But bear with me because my office is super small. In fact, you can kind of see me set up for a video right here. Um, so bear with me. You're going to be just tucked and squeezed right in the corner. But again, I want to show you the behind the scenes of what it actually looks like to film a reel and edit the reel and do all the things reels. Um, but these are also some of the techniques that I teach within the masterclass. In fact, there's a much simpler way to doing this all, but if you are just getting started, I wanna teach you first how to do it on the platform. Now, if you're ever in my masterclass, which maybe one day you will, I'm gonna teach you a simpler, easier way to do and edit your reels and to batch your content up. And again, this is what I teach my masterclass students. If you're interested in looking what that is or what it all entails, then just simply go to the link in the description below this video or head to my website and there's a lot more information there. But with that said, let's get started. So I'm gonna set you up your end. You guys can go ahead and watch behind the scenes. Now, the first step before I even get started on filming is actually coming up with the content ideas. And again, if you are stuck on content ideas to film, then again, go check out this video right here. And in there, I break down a whole bunch of different ideas that you can get started on. Uh, the biggest way that I find my content is doing a little bit of market research where I actually just start watching other people's reels and just get inspired and with different ideas. The next thing that I do is make sure that I 
map out and plan out when I'm going to be posting reels and what reels is going to be posted then so that when it comes to actually filming, I can batch film all of my content for the week in one setting and one doing and then it'll just be as simple as going and editing those videos and they'll be ready to upload right onto the reels. So if one thing that gets most of my clients really frustrated when it comes to posting video content is that they get stuck in the moment of not knowing what to say, not knowing what to film and then the frustrating process it takes to to come up with all of that plus film plus edit and all of a sudden they've burnt like four hours out of their day and that's what's actually leaving them frustrated is the fact that they've burnt so many hours so this is my biggest filming hack for all of you is to spend some time researching where you're just only simply researching and finding content ideas and the next process is that you're mapping it out we use asana to map out all my content including my reels so I map it out I know exactly what I'm going to film so when it comes to my filming day which is actually Wednesdays for me I am filming my YouTube videos my reels for the week and I'm getting it all done in one swift day I cancel out all other options for my day it's just simply filming so that I can worry about uploading and do all the fancy stuff at a later point in time okay so I'm literally just about to film my reel you're like kind of like on the side of the setup I've changed my shirt so that when I'm batching my content that it looks like it's all in different days so you'll literally see behind the scenes of what it looks like when I film my reels I've also queued up my song my audio that I've chosen it's all ready to go it's queued up I just have to press play so now it's time to show you guys how to find your audio tracks or music that you want to use so when I'm watching reels what I'm actually doing is I'm saving all of the posts whether I like their the audio or something inspires me and I go into my saved and I actually create collections within my saved folder. So example, you can see the two audios that I like. So in there are all the different reels that I found and I really like their audio and wanted to use them. So this is the one that I want to use today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and watch this reel on the actual reels platform. So you have to click on it. And then what I'm going to do is tap on where the audio is scrolling at the very bottom. I'm going to tap on that. And then it's going to come into the actual audio file and you'll be able to see all of the different audios that are videos that are using this exact audio. So if you wanted to save the audio, so you could click the save audio or at the very bottom is where you can actually click and tap use audio. Now this brings up your audio that you get to use for the reels. So now I just want to show you guys a few key functions when it comes to the actual platform, the reels, when it comes to creating your reels right here on the reels. So the first one that is going to be your best friend is the actual timer on this, which looks like the stopwatch at the very bottom. So you're going to tap that. This is where you can select the part of the song that you want to film and you can piece this at a time. So let's just say, I want to do something at the for the first three seconds only. So I'm going to drag that across to three seconds. I'm going to set the timer. And then what I'm going to do is when I press the reels button, it's going to give me countdown. will just time yourself up to the three seconds and then the next piece of footage will start right where that cut happened and then continuing on and again you can slice this up as often as you need based on all the different timings that you also want so that's what that feature is even if you don't plan on chopping up the audio at all use this feature anyways to give yourself the countdown that way you're not going to come in the video where it's very obvious you're coming to stop and start the video so make sure you use that feature regardless if you plan to create sections within your video now the next tool if you are creating sections or what is called a transition so a transition is really where you take part of your video and transition it into a new part so you've seen maybe where people are changing their outfits or let's say they're jumping into a pair of shoes right we've seen that that is all what a transition is and this is how you're actually doing and creating this right here on this platform so if you plan on doing that I'm going to draw your attention to the two squares at the very bottom here and that is the line tool and it's kind of trippy to look but basically I'm going to just click it off just because it's hard to look at but basically that allows you to line up so that you have a really nice 
smooth transition and it's not going to be very jumpy and it's going to blend very wonderfully and it's going to look basically flawless. So that's a really cool feature. If you want to add some filters, the smiley face with some stars is how you get access to any of your saved filters at the bottom. And then the other one is the enhance um, tool, which you don't really need to use. But now the other thing I guess is the one X. This is where you can speed it up, slow it down. Again, it just depends on what you planning to film. So now we're ready to start filming our reel. So again, I would set my timer. So I want to do the entire video. So now what you're going to do is um, I'm going to actually just delete that section that I didn't know. So let's just say that you started filming and you don't really actually like your timing was off. You weren't synced right with the, the music if that's what you're doing. You want to delete it. So if you go to the back button where you can kind of see your image there, that's going to take you back to the one feature and you're just going to hit the delete button and you can discard that. The other thing, if you saw the pair of uh, scissors there, is you can trim out parts of your video by sliding the bar tool. So you can cut out the pieces that you don't want at the beginning or the end. You're not able to edit into the beginning and you know chunk those pieces together like you can if you're using some kind of other editing software, because you guys remember this is just pretty basic stuff here, right? So that's really how the functionality of it goes. So I'm gonna say I'm going to record a whole video. So I'm ready to go, my timer's on, it's gonna give me a countdown, I'm just gonna press the, the button here and it's gonna start and give me that timer. Okay, so let's just pretend that that was the reel that I'm going to post. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click that forward arrow, the white little button there. So tap on that and then it brings you right into the reel. Okay, so now we're over here and let's just say that we want to add some text. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually just tap on your screen and then let's just say we add some text. Now, you can see at the very bottom here is, I'm just gonna mute my sound because it gets pretty annoying after a while. So where the word high is highlighted at the very bottom, if I actually drag my finger all the way to the side here, wherever that's highlighted is where the word high is gonna pop up. So I'm gonna untap it, unhighlight it so it's no longer white. And you can see at the very beginning, that's where it pops up. So that's now how you can add in your text. So I'm just going to say, let's just add a different one. I'm gonna change the color of it, bold it. Okay, so now let's just say I want the, the hello to come in at the back part. So we're gonna move that around and that's when the hello is gonna come back and I wanna rewatch it to make sure the timing is all right. I'm gonna move this actually a little bit down so you can move it. And so I'm gonna press tap the hello so it's not highlighted anymore. It just goes back to black. And now you can watch the entire video to make sure that it works. So I can go and move it to the forward arrow. So now you are ready to post your caption and add your cover photo. Now the beauty of Reels is that yes, you get to change your cover photo. So by just tapping on cover photo, you can either pick a certain frame in the video that you want or you could simply add from gallery and pick a different photo that maybe you've already liked. And if you wanna see how I do my cover photos, then just keep watching because I'm gonna show you how I do that right inside of Canva. But let's just say for now the photo I want for my cover photo, now it's time to write a caption. I wanna obviously hook them in. So I would say, okay, so by just adding the do this, and let's just say I wanna add an emoji with an arrow button pointing down. Okay, so let's just say that's my hook. So now what I'm going to do is put a space in and let's just say I have I, some tips. So I'm gonna label one tip, two tip, three tip, then my call to action. Okay, so that the beauty with Reels is also that it keeps the spaces. So you can enter the spaces and then it will automatically post. Now, um, the next thing is that we're good to go with our caption. You've added your hashtags at the bottom. Now it's ready to share. So when you're going to share your reel, you just want to make sure that you also share to feed. So make sure that that bar is 
slid over because you do want it on your feed as well because it will create more evergreen traffic for you. And then it's good to go and you can go ahead and click share. The other cool thing is that you can actually go save to draft. So remember how I said that I would batch and my content? So when I go and batch content, a lot of times I just click, click my save to draft. And then if you go back to, let's go back to my homepage, slide over to my reels, you will see all the drafts that I have right there. And when I'm ready to actually post them, I can go ahead and post. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a cover photo. First, I'm gonna go into Canva. This is where I like to make my cover photos. Now, it's not necessary for you guys to make cover photos for your reels. I just like to do this. And I have a running uh, folder file, whatever you wanna call it, of all the different reels uh, cover photos that I like to use. So this is the one that we are going to rebuild. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So I just add a page. Now all my reels will be this purple color. So I will go ahead and upload the photo that I want. Now I've already uploaded it, but if you wanted to do that, that's how you would go is go into your, your picture is kept on your computer and then click upload. So we'll go back. There you go back add in this is the photo again like I said I wanted to use so I'm going to stretch it out so that it fits across the entire screen and nothing gets cut off so about there now the other thing that I like to do is remove my background so this is what I'm going to do now I pay for Canva in order to remove my background but this is something that you can easily do if you just go to remove my background.com and there is my background all removed. So now it's time to add in some flair, some fun. This is the one that I use. I just literally scroll down here. Sometimes I'll like search blob or whatever and all of these things come up, but um, you're just gonna pick your blob. So let's just choose this one just for now. Even though I know I said I would remake the other one, but change the color to my branding, which is the blue. And then I'm gonna move it backwards, right click, send backwards. And then we want to, let's just adjust the placing of this a little bit. Perfect. And if I wanted to add any text, I could just simply go to my text and I could say editing after the masterclass. I don't know, I'm just making this up on the spot, guys. There we go. Okay, so that is the title that we wanted to use. So we could essentially put this somewhere and I would probably like to put it right there. Let's just say this is gonna be the cover photo. Will this be the exact cover photo? No, you will see this one in my feed. But I wanted to show you guys something. So I have actually created a template and you can download it in the description part of this video where you can really make sure that all of your picture and your images are gonna stay within and look appropriate on your grid, in the reels, all the things. So I wanna show you exactly what that looks like. Okay, so this is a template that you guys can actually download in that link in the description part. So what I'm gonna do is take my template and I'm gonna stretch it and make sure it fits and fills and snaps in place. And as soon as I get those pink crosshairs uh, and the X coming across the screen, that's how I know. So that's roughly about there. And then what I'm gonna do is take this. I'm gonna completely take, change the transparency and you can see already, see my, how my head is cut off at the beginning. The text is within the right size. I'm gonna first move this template all the way to the back and I'm gonna show you exactly what this is. So the line right in here, this pink, if you see it over there, the pink is the IG square or your grid. So if you want it to be visible on your grid, then what you have to do is make sure you either move this down or be happy with what's gonna actually fit in there. Again, I want the text to be visible on all platforms. So right about here. So that's gonna be visible on the feed in the grid. Again, that will look great. Now another kind of trick to know that if everything is visible where you want it to is if you click the download and click select pages, this is the square. So whatever how this looks right here is exactly how it will look like on your feed on your grid. So I like that. Now what I need to do is I need to take this template that I just had and just delete it off of there. And then maybe I just need to address a couple of things. This little blob here doesn't really matter. 
where the placing is. So I'm just going to move the blob down just so it looks better with the text. Now that's roughly again what I would do for a cover photo and then just make sure I download it in a PNG file or format and then just the exact page I wanted and then I would upload it into Google Drive and that's how I would add in my cover photo. I really hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial and had fun coming behind the scenes into my office and taking a look what it looks like when I'm filming my reels and really what it looks like when I'm creating content. The truth is it's a little bit messy. Things kind of get flip turned upside down in my office, but it's just because it is a small space, but you really don't need a whole lot when it comes to equipment or even the space that you need. All you really need is an idea to start with and then go from there. Now, if you guys are going to start creating your own video content, which obviously I encourage you that you do, and you want to learn how to make it a little bit less frustrating, less time consuming, and just have the whole process with ease, including how to even make strategic or create strategic video content, then again, just head to that description part and just learn a little bit about my math Masterclass, and maybe you'll be joining us in the next enrollment. It is a ton of fun. My students have a blast and I teach them all the different types of editing apps that I use outside of using it on the phone. So the truth is, is that I actually don't use Instagram primarily to edit my videos. I like to take it off the platform into some editing equipment software and really get and have a lot more fun there. And the process is so much more simpler when you follow it that way. And that's what I teach inside of the masterclass. Of course, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna learn more things, all things video marketing, when it comes to using video marketing into your own business, whether that is building a team, selling products, or just growing your business. This is the channel for you. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that you're notified every Sunday when I upload a new video so that you can get your hands on it, be the first one to get your hands on it, and then start implementing all the things that you're going to be learning. And with that said, guys, I'll see you next week.